Hi, tonight I want to talk about au pairs. My first encounter with au pairs was through Sense and Sensuality, their second album. I absolutely adored it. Then I read a negative review about that album, describing it as an overall weaker follow-up to their debut album, Playing with a Different Sex. I was insulted, of course. I hated the reviewer, but still he guided me to that debut album, Playing with a Different Sex. And of course it was better. It's this album, by the way. On Playing with a Different Sex, au pairs just sound more urgent, like there's something at stake. Their songs are weirder, funkier, in a Gang of Four style. And the singer, Leslie Woods, managed to be at the same time very powerful and very sensual. Equally important, and that was the first time that I uh, experienced that, for au pairs, everything is political, including sex, gender and relationships. I absolutely adored the last two songs of Side A, Repetition and Headache for Michel. Repetition is actually a David Bowie cover from the 1979 Roger album. And I hate to admit it, but it's better than the original. It's more haunting, more desperate, like it's meant to be sung by a woman. Headache for Michel is to this day still one of my favorite songs. It's so funky and so danceable that it actually makes you, almost makes you forget the highly political content. The centerpiece of the album is It's Obvious, the closing song. It's Obvious is a slow, tango-like uh, song, very strong song about one of au pair's most favorite themes, the inequality between sexes. In the end, au pairs never made it. They split up after three albums, like that was all they need, mission accomplished, no need to go on. But still, go and find this album, because it's really very, very good. Thank you.